here. This is basically our living room. Let's look at the refrigerators and, and why we have three is because we have A, B, and C. So let's go check it out. So when we look at the kitchen, it's, it's big because we have six people here stationed. Every day we have four on the Quint, which is basically a ladder truck, and two on the ambulance. We got uh, a gas stove, dishwasher, just like you'd have at your house. Uh, super nice, we cook lunch and dinner and then we clean everything up. Most of our stations have are getting these types of tables. We have our, our logo of the Grand Prairie Fire Department, Station 10, and then kind of the, a station logo that with the lighthouse. 11 to 1 we can watch uh, TV, uh, we can eat our meal, relax if we have a call. Obviously we get up, TV stays on, and out the door we go to make the call. In here we'll get a printout of an emergency call with the, the address. We have a, kind of a watch window here and different maps that, uh, uh, that we can do district study with. Here is the captain's quarters. We've got uh, his office and then he has a bedroom. So let's go check it out. All right, so the captain's office here and then we have a bedroom basically uh, uh, you have a shower, uh, a full a full restroom, okay, and then bedroom and three lockers. So if you want to check out the lockers really quick, there's A, B, and C. Today is B shift, so they usually put their, their bedding up in here, and then they'll put all of their station uniforms here. So kind of just like your house. You can see all the maps. We have... Uh, the orange streets are Station 10. The pink streets are gonna be Mansfield or Cedar Hill. We have our boxes like 079A. The dispatcher would say uh, 079A and then say a street address. And then we would look, we would get that printout, come here, look at the residents. They like us to work out at least an hour a day. Some of us work out more. Uh, we've got, uh, basically two like ellipticals, a rower, uh, we've got a Stairmaster over here, and then just a lot of weights. Here we have uh, two washers and a dryer. Uh, we probably do at least six loads a day. People work out, uh, take showers, you name it, it's just like a house. So we do lots of laundry. This is a firefighter setup here, uh, a little smaller than the captain's, and the bed. Remember we got three lockers. A, B, and C, okay? So the bedding's up here, and then all the uniform is here. All these new fire stations have a tornado room. These, these, there's three restrooms. This one basically is, you know, surrounded by concrete, okay? And just a restroom, but it also has a tornado-proof door, and uh, it is for that shelter. It also has connections for the computer, so we would know what's going on in the rest of the city. Uh, if we had an event like that. We have all sorts of, you know, just daily station things that you would need to clean the station. And then we also, we have uh, $10 a month that buys, all the firefighters pitch in, and we buy salad dressings, barbecue sauce, you name it. This is my bedroom here. And same setup, you got the three lockers, and uh, uh, just a great setup. So down this hallway is, is more bedrooms, and then we're gonna be back in the, in the day room. So uh, over here is our patio. We've got a patio table, we've got a barbecue pit, we've got a, uh, a, uh, a smoker, so you know, this is our home away from home. So this is Battalion 2's office right here. This is the fitness room. And then this is where all the maps are. So for Station 7, and then the, you have the office here. Here you can see that the, they've got the living room here. They got the, they got the TV on the wall. After five, they can relax and watch TV. This is uh, Big Dan, the boat. It's named after Dan Ratliff. And uh, so 
Dan was a big guy. He was involved in the dive team, so uh, they named the, the dive boat after him. So it's called Big Dan. You can see the logo here. You've got the dive logo for for Dive Seven, Lake Lake Station Number Seven. So really nice tables, and then here is the kitchen. The three refrigerators for A, B, and C shifts, and then you've got the three cupboards here. So you got the three cupboards. And here they've got the back patio, so they've got the the grill. You got a couple patio chairs back there. Remember, they're trying to make it homey so you feel at home, so you can relax and make our calls. Let's go check out the bedrooms. Here you basically have your three setups. You have your A, B, and C lockers. Cubby hole for your, uh, your bedding. And here you can notice it's a pull curtain. So station 10, we've got a regular door, okay? Several, several bedrooms here. This is where the battalion chief sleeps, here. And then we come out here, and here's where the laundry room is. As I said, we do lots of laundry. Here we go, so from workout to uh, washing our, our clothes, you know, our, our uniforms. And that's pretty much station seven. First thing is is the fire station is set up like a house, so it makes it pretty easy. We got a living room, we got a kitchen, we got bathrooms, we got a bedroom, and uh, it's pretty much like you're at home. Bring things from home that that I would be doing, you know, reading or, or music. I'm a big music buff, so I you know I bring whatever I like to listen to, and, and uh, that way I can. Just kind of chill out and try to be comfortable. And, uh, have the the family stop by on occasion just to kind of make it their own too. When I'm married, my wife knew that I was a firefighter, and my daughter, she knew that I was a firefighter, and um, they're comfortable with me being away from home uh, for 24 hours. So when we come here to the fire station, I know they feel good about that. We're all a big family. Um, it's a, it's, it's, there's a lot of tradition in the fire service. Um, we're kind of a brotherhood. Uh, we do things for each other. Uh, we work together as a team. 